Welcome to this look at a new mod map to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Medvedin 22, this is a new map to Farming Simulator 22 but ported over from FS19 uh, by Madas MGS. It's 112.3 megabytes to download. Money top right, I'm on New Farmer to do my map tour as I usually am. It is down a little bit because I've taken the liberty of leasing a pickup because we start here at the machinery store with workshop trigger, which is just there. This is also the reset point on the map. If we go to the map, I will show you where we are. We are all the way down here. So we're starting down here. The main town is here. As you can see, pretty much all of the production chains and cell points are included on the map, whether it be here or here or down here. We're gonna go, we'll have a look at everything. We'll get round. The main farm is up here. Um, what did you start with on New Farm? Well, you do start with Field 21, this plot here, which has got the farm on it. Uh, you do start with the Sleep Trigger, but only on New Farmer. We'll talk about slot counts and stuff when we get to the farm. That'll be in a little while. Um, but on Farm Manager and Start From Scratch, you don't start with... You don't own any of that. You don't start with anything that's on it. And you don't start with the Sleep Trigger. Um, so it's only on New Farmer that you start with the Sleep Trigger and the Farmyard. Field prices are pretty good across the board. I mean, when you look at the size of the fields, 381 grand for that one. We do have some smaller ones. We have some larger ones. And yeah, like prices are pretty reasonable. Field 11, 151 grand. And you've got a big field like field six at 738. Nothing ridiculously high to break the bank. But yeah, not too bad at all. Uh, so if we come back off of there, we're going to do, well, it's going to be a weird route round really. From here, we're going to go into the town, do these ones, going to go all up the top, just a couple up here. I'm going to do their main farm, then head down. It was the, the best route I could kind of figure to get around the map efficiently. Uh, we've got a couple of forested areas that we can buy and do forestry. Won't be, maybe three, actually, we went up there as well. Oh, it's interesting that those are linked. Hmm. Just didn't notice that when I first came in and checked that. Anyway, so we're going to come off of there. We're going to grab the pickup. Like I say, this is the reset point down here at the machinery store. I've got to remember to leave the engine running. I have a habit of jumping out of the vehicle and uh, switching, uh, switching off the engine every time. Right, there are no um, mods that the map maker has included, so there's no barns, buildings. As far as I can tell, it's all pretty much base game stuff. Contracts are available, so you can do contract work. Um, up at the main farm we do start with some um, animals, or say animal pens, but that, like I say, is only on New Farmer. Uh, one thing I will say is the traffic is bonkers. It absolutely hooms along. doesn't slow down. The other thing, I don't know if I'm misremembering or not. Again, this could be the, the, the jump from FS19 to FS22. The um, lighting and colour palette on here, compared to when I did the last one, and like I said, I could be misremembering seems very clear and crisp and I like the lighting and the colour palette on, on this one and I'm probably I think I'm doing this a different way round to how I did it last time I'm going to just stop here and we're going to whiz across the road in a moment let's hop out the pickup, jump the fence because we've got the first three of our cell points we have the pizzeria or at least the back of the pizzeria we have a supermarket just here and we have the farmer's market cell point just here all three right on top of each other we have got, like I say, quite a cluster of cell points around the town itself. No shortage of cell points. There's plenty of uh, buy points as well on this one, which is rather nice too. We do start with a fair bit of equipment as well, which we'll see later on. I'm, I, I do like it on a map when you get things that are different. You know, it, it's very... It's not common, I guess, but... When you get those, you know, certain placeables, even when you're using all of the um, production change buildings, the way they're put down with the fencing and the, the compounds and the areas around, I just, I like the look of the way this is kind of laid out. We do have a buy point here for slurry, so you can come and buy slurry. We have a buy point just there for buying manure, so you can come and buy manure here as well. Livestock market is just here. And as we go through, we have got the... Um, What's it called? I did write it down. Sale at animals, I think it is. Sale at animals, which is a sale point. 
which is just there. And don't be put off by the fact the bale's there. It's not just a bale sale point. If I go down to the sell point trigger there, look at wheat and go across. Sailor animals, they will take, I think, pretty much everything here. Sailor animals, sailor animals, yeah. So it's not just a bale sell point here, it's sale at animals. So that's kind of the livestock market. I like the fact you can buy manure and slurry. At livestock markets, you would think if you've got lots of livestock and stuff there, that would be the place you could go and get it. So I like that as an addition. We'll swing into here. Next sell point. It's all these little touches. I know all maps have them, and I try to highlight and point out things, but I don't know if it's just me today. I don't know what it is, but anyway. <laughs> um, over to the side then, we have got the ZZN Granary sell point. Big imposing building. Uh, across the way we've got the debris crusher then we have got here now these are buy points so we have got um, purchase of sprays so your herbicides liquid fertilizers this side biomass heating plant this side this is the wool sale point so i suppose um the spinnery we have got a spinnery separately as well but and um, this is a wool sale point just here around the corner we've got a lime buy point just there as we come further around, we have got the purchase of mineral feed, so for part of your TMR, and then we have got the seed purchase point just there, and across the way, we've got our sugar mill part of the production chains, so quite a few buy and sell points all right on top of each other. Back in the pit, out onto the main road watching the traffic of course look I'm going to call look look at that <laughs> I am not hanging about for anybody I've got to be so careful here I will pull up at the side of the road but I don't know how safe that's going to be if you see what I mean across the road then we've got the tailors we have got hang on. we've got the tailors um, we have got the restaurant sale point which is there so tailors restaurant bakery just here production chains and if we continue a little bit further along I do like how I mean the previous version of this was the town you know the, the town was here there was loads of buildings and stuff like that but the fact that that's all been stripped back and production chains have been you know I say seamlessly you know it is seamlessly it kind of added in you would never have known those buildings were not there on it I mean I suppose that's what map makers do don't they they do it incredibly well uh, from here then, continue up the road. And we've got our grape processing unit just there. Nice pond behind. Nice little feature, would be nice if I wasn't looking through the fence at it, but anyway, that's through there. And then we're going to head up the hill. Watching for fast moving vehicles. No, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out. I got absolutely clouted when I was doing my kind of test drive round. And then we move out of the town into the open countryside. Nice sweeping landscape. And we're heading right up to the top. There's a gas station and I think it's the spinnery. I want to say spinnery. I'm, just, I'm trying to look down at my list without coming off the road. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I don't know if it's just the particular lighting and the, like I say, I've said about the colour palette, but I'm just really liking that kind of sweep of the landscape down across, off up, and that, that sort of hillside up there. I don't know. But yeah, it's striking a chord with me today. So, continuing on. Fuel station is on the left as we come up just there. spinnery right at the top of the map we cannot go any further also part of the production chain so if you want to make fabric then when the fabric's been made you can take it back down to the tailors if you own them we will get onto the slot counts and stuff in a little while we're not far off getting to the I say distance wise we are but we should be too far off getting to the main farm area so we're gonna head back down and then we're gonna head west out towards the sawmill 
Now, one thing I haven't found and haven't come across, it's not, I've kind of had a look around the map, I've had a look at all the, the areas that look like there might be placeables and things on them, there's no biogas plant. So, if you want to do biogas, you might have to find a location to place one yourself. I haven't come across a spot. So, if we turn in here. Head to the sawmill. I'm trying to remember. I didn't go back and check my previous version of this, but whether or not it was the biogas plant that was here previously, I can't remember in all honesty. So, production chain sawmill. If you want to do planks, or if you just want to use this as a sell point for bringing your lumber, you absolutely can. Here's your sawmill. And now's as good a time as any to have a quick check on the map and see where we've been. So, we started off down here at the machinery store. We've been up there and cut across. We took in the sell points there. Then the livestock market with the two buy points and the sell point there. We went up then to the, uh, was it ZZN Granary? Then all those sell points and buy points into debris crusher and purchase of sprays and seed and mineral feed and lime, all there. Uh, then we had the uh, restaurant. <laughs> Yeah, Taylor's Restaurant and Bakery just there. Great processing unit. And then we're heading out of town up there. We've just done the fuel point and spinnery. Back across and we're now here at the sawmill. So a big chunk of the map done. It's not a huge map. But when you look at um, sort of the, a regular, say a regular size of a map, it would kind of come up and across to make up that square. I suppose because it's so open and sweeping, it doesn't feel like it's smaller than the normal So, continue west, we're going to head up to the top of the hill and over the top, which should bring us on and down to the farm. I haven't come across any collectibles. It doesn't mention anywhere in the description for the map that there are any. It's a nice drive, actually. So, high point of the map. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We come down into the main farm. Nice big wide open yard, plenty of space, nice and flat, room for more placeables if you want to put them down. But like I said, you do start with a fair bit of equipment. We do start with cows, chickens. Is it pigs? I don't think we start with sheep. We do have horses. Right, so stop there and we'll come back across. So we do have a manure pit. We do have a silage clamp just over there. Over here, this was pigs, wasn't it? It was 270 pigs we have there. We have cows at 80. Yes, definitely 80. This is not a cow barn or cow uh, building with robot. This is the standard one. It will take 80 cows, and we do have a slurry pit just there. If we come across, we come to the first of the equipment and machinery with loading wagons, cedars. We've got a new Holland harvester and header. This building is empty, but plenty of space in it. Workshop trigger just there so you bring your vehicles in if you want to do any work on them we do have a workshop trigger here at the farm and then we come out through here we've got the farmer um 500 500,000 litre uh standard crop type silo wind rowers wind rowers a wind rower grass equipment weeder trailer we've got mowers we do have a dog as you can see he's wandering about um, tedder, sprayer, fertiliser spreader, cultivators, plough. We have a water point, sleep trigger, just here. Lime and fertiliser spreader and the trailer, obviously you can see. Uh, if we go round to here. We've got our horse stable for 14 horses. Over here we've got our chicken pen. Chickens are 360, I was going to say 70. 
and another manure pit just there. So the buildings, I say, there's nothing added in by the map maker, the modder. So these are all standard uh, generic buildings. In this barn, we've got our two tractors that we start with. We do start with a Fent 724 and we've got a lovely John Deere 7810. So, with all of that being said and the sleep trigger just around there, the slot count on New Farmer is 1,157. So you start with this plot of land, all this machinery, all the equipment, all the barns and buildings, everything. But if you come onto here on Farm Manager or start from scratch, that slot count drops to 823 so 1157 down to 823 everything here is gone and it will look a bit like this but weirdly the one thing you're left with on farm manager and start from scratch and i don't know why i assume it's a mistake but there could be some significance is the tedder the only thing you're left with is the tedder and i don't know why if you get rid of the tether as well, you can get the slot count down to 819. Uh, the cow, the, the um, dog kennel is just in here. You can put feed in, there we go. There's some feed in for the dog, should come over and feed now. Let me open the gate as he lopes his way over. So, that's the main farm area. I do like the fencing around it as well. very nice indeed so like I say all clear all open on uh, farm manager and start from scratch and flat enough that you can you can place whatever you want um, and kind of really build your farm up in any way you like I mean that kind of goes out saying I suppose but sometimes you get farmyard areas and they're a bit undulating and sometimes you have to do a lot of landscaping or there's not enough room and you know this one as you can see all the space in between all the buildings as well if you want to start with it like this your ability to add to this as well absolutely fantastic uh this plot actually did i say how much this plot was to buy this plot is 194,169. so if you come onto here on the other two game modes um that's all it will cost you for field 21 and this plot obviously then you'd have to put buildings and stuff on top of that but i don't think that's too bad at all so yeah lowest i've got it 819 again there could be a situation whereby if you don't want to use all of the production chains potentially i haven't tried to remove any but you may be able to remove some of the production chains buildings um, and you could maybe get the slot count down a little bit lower but I, with what i was doing just as a kind of a baseline that's what we got it to so heading south again and again really nice i like that kind of through the little gap there and the sweep down the hill. Cracking. <clears throat> We're going to go right down to the southwest corner. To the railway granary, that huge building over there. There is a little railway line. You can't go on the train. And I, I did wait there for a while. Again, you may have come on here and you may have found one or you may have seen one. I don't know if the train does run across the bottom of the map or if there is a train that runs across. I didn't see one and I did wait for a little while to see if it would come past or not. But, um, so we are down at the bottom of the map now. So southwest corner, railway granary cell point is just there. Considering how many cell points and buy points there are on the map, when I first kind of looked on here I thought it's going to take me ages to go through all that. I think because they are clustered quite tightly in the middle for the most part and the ones that are in little clusters are pretty much on top of each other it didn't actually take me anywhere near as long as i thought it was going to to get around so from here we're going to head up to the last set of cell points and production chains i'm wondering as i drive up here so when i used to do my lists and my notes for my map tours on fs19 the top of my list was always crops so there was the crops, mods, contracts. I'd have my list of things I was looking for when I did a tour. And custom crops was a big thing on FS19. I am curious to see as we move forward with FS22 if we do get any new custom crops from anyone. I know the production chains things, Omatana and a few people like that have 
got some extra things thrown in that you can produce using what we've got but i am curious to see as we move forward if anything like that is going to actually happen so here we are at the next set of sell points and production chains across in front of me then we have got carpentry and dairy <laughs> so carpentry and dairy just there we've got the grain mill just there we've got the cereal factory just there and we've got our oils factory just there and even when they're all they are clustered it doesn't feel contrived you know i think the layout's done well enough that it, it you know sometimes i'm i'm at fault with doing it when i play stuff when i'm doing let's plays and things like that I kind of tend to go very ordered and organised, but it just has a very natural feel to it. So, yeah. Hats off to the map maker, that's what I'm going to say. So we'll cross back over the road, go back to the map, and I'll show you where we went from. So from here, we came down the hill, out to the railway granary, back up the hill to this cluster of sale points and production chains here. If we carry on back up the road there, we come back to the cluster of sale points and buy points and animal deer that we were at, and the store's back there. And that's the map. That's Medvedin 22 by Medas MGS. It's nice. I, I can't I'd say I can't quite put my finger on um, what's tangible about the, the differences, but it just feels uh, more alive. I think I don't know if that's just, not just the speed of the traffic, but I like it. So there we go. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.